Tonight, the Orange County Sheriff and Orlando Police Chief are responding to a policy change. State Attorney Aramis Ayala announcing people who resist arrest without violence may not be prosecuted. New 6's Troy Campbell is outside the State Attorney's Office with details on this new policy, Troy. Yeah, State Attorney Amrissa Ayala says even though her time in office is limited and she's not seeking re-election, she wanted to institute this policy effective immediately. Thousands of people across the country and many right here in Central Florida have taken to the streets to peacefully protest and ensure that their voices are heard. Orange Osceola State Attorney Aramis Ayala saying her office will now strongly consider dropping charges of resisting arrest without violence, saying several protesters since June have been hit up with that charge for what she claims was voicing their First Amendment rights. If a person doesn't immediately get out of the car, even though they're not responsible for the crime, even though they have not committed any other crimes, if they don't immediately respond, then they can be charged with resisting an arrest. Ayala's new policy states someone charged can agree to a diversion program, which would require them to watch this 30-minute educational video on resisting arrest versus facing up to a year in jail and a $1,000 fine. Right here in Orange County, over the past year alone, Blacks or African Americans have made up nearly 63% of all standalone resisting cases, even though they only make up 22% of the population. Orange County Sheriff John Mina telling News 6 about the policy, saying in part, quote, the state attorney did not confer with me or other law enforcement leaders I'm aware of when considering this action, adding, I am extremely concerned this action will cause confusion in our community. Orlando Police Chief Orlando Rallone says his agency is still reviewing this policy after just receiving it this morning. And again, Ayala says this only applies to nonviolent offenders. Outside the state attorney's office, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6.